Who wants to go to destination chill out? You can be there in a breath. Most people I see with dogs, they don't breed properly. They're nervous, they're anxious. They're breeding from maybe here up. <sighs> My dogs are getting the carbon monoxide and they're over smelling me wondering why I'm nervous. Look at their tails, slowly wagging and down. Why is Martin hyperventilating? Is something really bad going to happen? Maybe. Let me quickly show you how to breed our own dogs. I put the tongue on the roof of my mouth. I close my mouth. They don't mind that breath. Did you see that dog just lie down? That dog just laid down because I left oxygen out of my lungs. It is a flowing... Everybody's relaxed. So next time you're breathing around your dog, check your breath. It can really be the difference, you know. <coughs> Ever walk past the door or a garden, there's a very aggressive dog on the other side of it. What I always do is, I get between my dog and the other dog, and I turn my back, okay? This is telling my dog that I am in control of the situation. Could you flick to that other dog in the background? Now I'm just going to turn around. What I did there was release a big amount of carbon monoxide. And that carbon monoxide simply said, you're bluffing, we don't believe you, we're turning your back on us. Look at the dog now. Is there any aggression in the dog now? No. Ah, see, she's sitting down, panting a little bit because it's in an enclosed space. So whenever we come across an aggressive dog, just simply do that. Stand in front of it. Look at my dog, where my dog is standing. My dog is standing well away from this other dog. It has learned to become respectful. So instead of panicking, tighten up the leash and getting all flustered. Relax. See when I close my eyes with the other dog, see where it is now. What's it doing now? It's laying down, isn't it? So therefore, I have communicated to that dog that I'm in charge, none of us are a bother. Because when I close my eyelids like that, I'm saying, I have no intention of attacking you. So let's walk on past. You can see my dog, come again, and then come again. And gently, and gently, and gently. See that on the ground? Look down on the ground. What's that? That's urine, okay? This male dog just done a pee next to this dog to do what? To piss him off. Are you familiar with that term everybody uses? We got it from dogs. How do I solve this one? Spit on it. Watch his head. Watch his head while I'm doing this, right? See the nervous look in his head and he's looking away? I've just scratched over his urine. His tail is down straight. He's not going to be aggressive to anything. Right. Another little tip, just before we go, okay? <sighs> oh, God. Tired. Did you see that I just left out a lot of air there? The reason I did that is to show this dog, if I was going to fight, I'd be holding my breath. So I'm not wanting to fight you or anybody else. And you're not wanting to fight anybody else because she's just laying down. So there we have a dog. Same thing as behind the fence. How do you react to it? I walk away. Ten paces, maybe. I stop and I say, well done. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Well done. Okay. 
Until next time, don't be afraid of barking dogs. Reassure them, relax them. Oh, yawning. Blink my eyelids. Close them and turn them down like that. I'm going to sleep, people. Bye-bye.